This is Amend and Progress, your go-to podcast from Vidori for all things promotional material review. Get ready for actionable insights, valuable perspectives, and best practices to elevate your workflow and team morale. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Benchmark Symposium 2024, a special edition of Amend and Progress, where we're focusing the conversation on Vidori's 2024 State of Promotional Review Benchmarks Report. I'm your host, Annalise, and today we're going to be talking about a very specific metric we've included in this year's report called System Time Per Piece. Walking us through the conversation today is Jesse Horrell, VP of Professional Services at Vidori. Jesse, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me, Annalise. Always a pleasure to be here. Yeah, you're a regular at this point, so you know the whole routine. Um, Well, excited to dig into this today. You know, we've done, so far for the 2024 report, you and I did sort of an overview recording of this year's report. So we sort of walked through high-level metrics, the the aggregates, you know, the roll-up metrics. Today, we're going to be talking system time per piece. Now, this is a new metric we've introduced into the report. Could you define this as sort of the first step of the conversation today, sort of walk us through the definition of this year's, of this new metric um, in the report. Yeah, absolutely. Um, So system time per piece, the, the definition here is, this is the average time spent in the content review system per new approved piece. And it's calculated by dividing the total platform usage time Um, for all the users by the number of new approved pieces um, produced. And so in other words, you can think about this as, um, you know, the typical amount of time spent per approved promotional piece in the system, Um, not accounting for time spent outside of the system. So on content creations and revisions, for example. Uh, But this metric does capture not only the direct time spent completing each job, but also the additional activities that are done within the system. So this is by initiators spent, you know, preparing the job for review, by reviewers reviewing the job, and by administrators um, administering the process and, you know, um, managing the process overall and just in really just that total aggregate platform time usage. And so... Super interesting. So it's a little bit one word that's coming to mind as I'm sort of thinking about this and in comparison with some of the other benchmarks that we talk about that are more calendar date based is system time per piece more about active time or help me think about sort of the the traditional benchmarks that we introduce every year and this new metric and how they sort of sit aside one another or work alongside one another. Yes, absolutely. So um, you're right. Our primary benchmark metrics that we've reported on to date um, really do focus on those calendar days between key transition points in the process. And they're they're good at providing an overall view of the speed and the turnaround time of the process, but they do not actually account for the amount of active work being done. Um, So this is an actual time spent metric. Um, And it measures the direct hands-on time spent by the team members who are actively working in the system on this process. So again, it does focus on the real effort and the productivity involved. Um, And so it really reveals how efficiently the process is being managed. Um, Because calendar day metrics, unfortunately, don't necessarily suggest um, efficiency and might not show real efficiency improvements if, say, additional labor is just poured into the process. So um, if efficiency hasn't changed, that might not show up in those metrics, contrast to a metric like the system time per piece, actual time metrics can really pinpoint uh, where efforts are optimized or where inefficiencies still exist. Okay, that's super helpful. So both part of the puzzle to the the full story and they sort of sit alongside one another which i think is helpful for folks to understand why did we bother going down this path this year you know one of the things that you and i talk about certainly as we start to develop each year's report is like what do we want to do new this year like what new conversations we want to open up what new metrics or data do we want to take a look at and we decided ultimately to include this because we felt like there was an advantage to introducing it to the industry can you talk me through a little bit about the why we decided to include the metric or any background there you think is important 
Yeah, I mean, I, I think that you're right that um, as um, passionate stewards of this data, it, it, we are always sort of mining it and and on the lookout for new and interesting information. And so we wanted to share it with the the industry. We wanted to share this new data finding. Um, we're monitoring it. Um, we'd like it to uh, generate conversation. We'd like to hear what our customers think about it. So it's really just a starting point for um, conversation. I also wanted to say, I don't know that we've revealed what it is, um, but the calculation this year that we found, um, the average STP was approximately four hours. So that's what our data indicated yeah. this year. So in other words, Vidori customers typically spend on average a four hours per approved promotional piece in the system. So again, not accounting for the time outside of the system. Um, but, you know, I think it's it's interesting to sort of report that number out and see how people react to it based on what they know about their own process or um, how long they might be spending uh, personally within a platform mm -hmm. to achieve this process. Um, I think this can be used as a guidepost, which is exactly what, you know, our intention is with sharing benchmarks. Yeah, great point. It's an almost more personal metric than some of the other benchmarks we talk about, because certainly as a reviewer, you would start to think about, OK, on average, I'm spending about X amount of hours. It's about this much time. And so it's almost like a little bit more at the personal level. You could see that there's a little bit more compare and contrast that could happen there, which I think is always helpful, because sometimes the benchmarks can just feel because they're at that roll up or that aggregates, it may be harder to identify or, or put yourselves within that process. So I think that's a an important call out. Now, how can organizations capture system time per piece? Now, obviously, our metric, we're looking at Vidori platform users, but talk me through a little bit around just how others can capture this metric and maybe think about comparing it to what we've included in the report, which, as you mentioned, is four hours. Yeah, so assuming that you're using a system to um, orchestrate the material review process, um, the first place to go and look would be to see if that platform provides usage metrics. So how long each end user is logged into the system in a given time period. If you can get that metric, you can then divide it by the number of promotional pieces that are produced in a given month. And that is your STP. So if you were looking to see how you compare to the benchmark, that would be you know, useful. If you were trying to do something like calculate potential time savings by moving to the Vidori platform, you could then take your current STP minus the Vidori benchmark STP times the number of pieces that you're producing. That could give you the number of hours potentially saved if you were to move to um, the Vidori platform, which, you know, as everyone I hope knows listening to this, is a purpose-built system for the material review and approval process. So, you know, this could be an interesting um, experiment if, if you're not using a purpose-built system that perhaps isn't designed well for this process, this could be a way to highlight some of those inefficiencies of using that kind of system. So that's just one example. Yeah, no, I think that's helpful. So, you know, especially you've, I think, broached this topic a little bit in some of your responses in terms of how to look up, up, you know, at STP against the benchmark, how to capture it. But what does it ultimately help organizations understand? You mentioned the labor savings. Is there anything else that when looking at this metric or understanding your own STP at your organization, what does it help me understand? What is why should I even bother considering this metric or looking into it? Yeah, you know, I think it is designed to, as we talked a little bit earlier, um, to really measure the the direct time spent, um, sort of the the active time. It's designed to provide the efficient. Sorry, it's designed to provide the insight into the efficiency of the process. So, it really allows us to understand the advantage that the organization has by using a platform, and specifically mm -hmm. in this case by using the Vidori platform. If the the process is well defined and the system's easy to use, then th that would show up in a lower STP, and that would reveal that there is a direct operational efficiency to this investment onto that process and onto the organization, um, and and how the organization is deploying their resources to um, to meet the the demands of this rigorous material review process. 
And certainly, you know, given what you shared about sort of the calculations and the labor savings metric that you can get out of this, you can always tie labor savings to, to dollars, right? And so is there an ROI play here as well of here's our return on potential return on investment from changing from one approach or maybe one process to another? Um, anything to be said there? Is that the right way to think about this? Yeah, absolutely. You know, similar to the potential time savings calculation, you could certainly use this information and this metric here to calculate actual time savings and to calculate that RA and to demonstrate those those labor and, and to your point, cost savings. If you know your current STP, you know your target, um, or you want to look at your um your STP from one time frame to another, even, you know, in the context of being on the same platform, you know, say that you're setting a, a goal to increase the efficiency of the organization overall, you know, you could, um, you could use this data in that way as well. So yeah, absolutely. All right, folks, that's the end of the conversation for today. To learn more about the system time per piece metric, please go download Vidori's 2024 State of Promotional Review Benchmarks Report. You can download it at vidori.com slash 2024 benchmarks. This is an episode of Amend and Progress. Uh, please subscribe to the podcast. You can do so on YouTube, Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. If you're enjoying um, the content, please rate and review the show. Until next time, this is Annalise signing off for Amend and Progress. Have a fantastic day.